Hello guys, welcome to 5-Minute Flutter channel and in this video I want to talk about text field in Flutter. And after that, and we want to make some animated text field. It's have uh, some little animation like this and uh, we want to create this, we use text field and custom painter for create that and animation controller. It uh, work when we uh, focused on text field, animate is completed from left to right and after we unfocus and uh, change focus in on another uh, widget in our page uh, animate is reversed and uh, completely hide okay let's go to the code we have this page i want to show you another time in my computer you can see that when we change focus in this uh, simulator our uh, board there is uh, changed all right after that I can I want to create new window and create another project to create this step by step okay All right, uh, I'm sorry for noise and you see that I create this, I bring my code in here and I wanna run it. Okay, this is a very simple and blank project, Flutter project and I wanna run it and after that I wanna create I'm going to change my home page and some cleaning. Okay, after that, I remove this text. Oh my god. And we have a text field. And check it what happened after running my code. Okay, we will. We wait for building this. Okay, this is our very very plain text field that have nothing just a simple text field but we wanna uh, change it to animated text field. okay we need to handle uh, uh, we, we can do this with uh, some ways but i'll do that with custom painter and animated controller you can do it with another way but I do I do it with this way and for this we could change text field decoration I used uh, input decoration and I set border input border to none and you see we have nothing in here just text field and uh, I want to create some border uh, manually on that I do it with custom painter okay I create class custom painter or custom border border painter extends uh, custom paint custom painter I'm sorry oh my god and I need to 
I want to cut it off. Why? Okay, uh, paint. Do you have a, I think, draw or paint method? Okay, and should rebuild. All right, no. Yeah, and return true. Okay, in here we want to create our border. Okay, we have a canvas and size. Uh, I have some videos about custom painter. You can see those and check it. Uh, I create a circle menu and a guide uh, arrow. In this video, I use very, very simple lines for border of this text view. We can check it. I want to wrap it, for example, custom, custom paint. Yeah and our painter yeah custom border painter and for example uh, i create a canvas dot draw path yeah <clears throat> we need a path i create with wire path a simple path and uh, we need a paint var paint paint i wanna paint dot color for example colors dot red and paint dot mod or stroke i doesn't remember what's happened paint dot color mod i think mod Blend mode? No. I doesn't rem remind what's okay. Stroke. Stroke. No. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. Style. Yeah. Painting style. That's stroke. And we wanna check it. What happened? Okay. we have nothing because i need to uh, create this path for example i want a path dot move to zero and zero and path dot line to for example we have x and y i want to set that and size that sweets i'm sorry i think it's mistake on x and y sorry size dot weight and in here i set zero and you have cd and you can see little i, I think paint dot stroke width for example it's good to be three you can have this line i said to my pass go to the uh if if you if you see that i want to create another container and uh, decoration box decoration border box border dot border dot all color colors dot for example gray and you can see this okay we have i set some padding to that to see all of that padding comes digit set all for example 24 and you can see this board there and when i set to path go to zero and zero this is zero zero because it's uh, zero x and zero y and we uh, move our path and pointer in here and when we say line to size that width and our size is uh, very it's, it's fit uh, our text field and size that width is end of uh, x and we doesn't move any uh, height okay 
I want to bring my custom custom border code in here because uh, it's make some time and I uh, want to skip that because it's very simple I create uh, and I uh, explain after I copy this I copy all of that and right click new file I set custom oh my god new file custom animate border dot dart and paste in here okay and we have some utils class can I copy and paste in here yeah all right and I can import utils in here yeah everything just fine okay I can explain you what's happening here because I want to create our uh, I can back to this code because I want if you see that we have two paths one of them uh, start from here and go to here and one of and, and another path start from here and uh, bring bottom of text field and end in here you can see these and, and, and for that I create path one and path two and uh, I have some utils in here I don't explain actual uh, logic in this video but do uh, to this uh, utils method uh, get percent of uh, animation that's I need to rename this it's not good name percent or animation percent animation percent is uh, I can zero to uh, Y rename symbol anime percent okay it's uh, passed from our animation controller and start from zero to one uh, and when we passed our animation percent in this method <coughs> It's return some parts of these paths, not complete path. Because of that, we have uh, in each uh, millisecond, I passed, I think, uh, 14, uh, 1400 millisecond. And in 1400 <coughs> millisecond, uh, I have this animation. Okay. Uh, I want to back to these and we have uh, our custom border uh, I am in main and I want to delete this class and we have custom animate border okay this uh, take uh, from its need animation percent okay I bring my code to in here copy then new file animated text field dot dot oh my god rename okay and paste it here and remove some of these and I want to explain you what's happened okay I want to for example colors dot cyan for example yeah and let's check it okay we have a custom paint and custom animate border that I explain you and we have some alpha dot value that's percent of our animation and we have uh, label uh, for input decoration and we said input border none and content padding because we need some padding uh, to our text field okay I will explain you after I set it here 
for example if i remove these i can animate it i can put animated text field for example i called test and suffix i wanna i don't wanna have no suffix or i can't nullable for that and it's working great if i pass null okay you can see this animation and what's happened i wanna uh, everything is in animated text view for that i need focus node and animation controller uh we create a, we uh, initial our animation controller in, in init state uh, you can change your time i just put uh, 400 uh, millisecond for that and we have a animation curve i uh, set curve easing out you can change and uh, if you uh, check it again you can see it's uh, have some speed up and speed down in creating animation and i have twin animation because i said before we have our animation from zero to one and after that i animated uh to this alpha and in this alpha have value from zero to one and we said animation uh, we uh, said listen we, we said listener for our controller and use set a state because we want when uh, our animation changed from one to zero in 400 millisecond rebuild the ui to have this animation okay and we have another listener for, for focus node because we want to check if our focus is changed to has focused it's mean uh, when we click our text field this value uh, the, the listener is called and this value is true and our animation is forward because our anim and and because of that our animation is complete and when has focus is false, our animation is our, uh, our reversed. I can show you if, uh, for example, I in here I create another text field. Uh, for example, in here, yeah, you can see our focus is changed and animation forward and reversed. Okay, uh, uh, we want to use this text field in. Uh, other parts of our uh, tutorial for example uh, uh, in another video I want to talk about creating a simple login page with these uh, uh, text fields and uh, that's that's it. I hope you like this video and this tutorial and if you have some suggestion or some points please tell me in comments and Goodbye.